Welcome back. You know, when it comes to police work, it's in her blood. Literally, four family members work in law enforcement, and now Officer Kara Hancock makes it five. Tonight in our Behind the Badge report, ABC4's Don Hudson tells us more about her journey and why she loves to serve and protect. Her job is to patrol the streets of Orem, but for Officer Kara Hancock, it means much more. I also love the idea that I'm out there protecting my family by protecting just in general. Because if I'm out here busting my butt and keeping things on the straight and narrow, that's going to affect my family too. That's going to affect my kids. That's going to affect everybody that I love. The 36-year-old rookie says yeah. it's been a long road to make it to this moment. It's something I've always wanted to do, but at the same time, you know, my husband had a full-time job. I felt like I needed to be home with the kids and raise them. So as soon as they were old enough that I could justify both their parents having a full-time job, um, I went for it. But it didn't start with the Orm PD. Hancock first served as a corrections officer for about three years. I'm always playing the what-if game in my mind. There's just a lot of volatile situations that you enter into that you just have to do that. But her goal was to be a police officer. And a few months ago, that dream became a reality. I love what I do because, one, I'm an adrenaline junkie. Um, and in this job, there's always something that gets that going. When you're driving to a call, uh, just that unknown is, I really like it. I love interacting with the public on both the positive and negative. Um, I get a lot from both. I asked her about her first stop or first call. Yeah. She says even though it wasn't that long ago, it, she was so nervous she can't remember. I just remember thinking, don't screw this up, Hancock. <laughs> because this is the rest of your career. Yeah. It is the first day. And she says she was prepared for this job because so many family members are in law enforcement. It was easy for me. I had good examples, my dad, my brother, and my husband. Plus, she has a sister who was a dispatcher and another brother served in the military. There's a certain mental toughness that you have to have because you're going to see things that regular people don't see and they'll never see. Officer Hancock may be new to the force, but she's already had some intense moments arresting suspects. He just flips out and went to like stand up towards the other officer, so I just grabbed the back of his neck and pushed him down to the ground and just laid my body on top of him and held his head while they did his arms and legs. And Those types of moments are not frequent, but the way I Officer Hancock that? sees it, arresting dangerous people is what serving and protecting is all about. I love being somebody that, some, that people can rely on. I love being there to make sure that people are safe. In Orm, Don Hudson, ABC4 News. Officer Hancock shared a few more stories with Don. To hear one that involves an irate suspect, a taser, and a takedown, just head to our Behind the Badge page on our website, abc4.com slash badge. And while there, you can nominate an officer for a future Behind the Badge story.